Hey, what's up everyone? I'm going to show you how to set up your Nerd or Die Goal Widgets with Streamlabs. So once you download and unzip a pack, this process is going to be pretty much exactly the same. You'll see that I'm using Overdrive here, but again, depending on your pack, you're going to be able to just install it the same way. But once we get into the custom options, things will differ just a little bit, but we'll get into that. So once you're downloaded and unzipped, let's go ahead into the Streamlabs folder, which we have right here and then we'll find the Goal Widgets link. And when we click that, if you need to, just select the program you wanna open it with. And inside here, we can import into a specific widget theme. So I have this demo theme here, and I'm just gonna click Use. You could create a new one if you like. And once that's actually saved, you can go into your All Widgets here, and then select, let's go with the donation goal. That's pretty much the uh, easiest one to show off. Now, if you don't have a goal started, I'm actually gonna just end this it's really important to get one going. Now, if you don't see this working properly or loading properly, don't worry too much. You can always just re-import in or even sometimes just refreshing the page will get it working and even just starting your goal. So let's go ahead and get one started and we'll take a look to see if that's a problem or not. So let's add in a title and I'm just gonna type donation goal here and then an amount, a starting amount of, uh, let's go with 10 actually and we'll set it to a date that's sometime in the future and click start goal. Now, what we need to do is add it into Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio. To do that, what we need to do is click the copy button here to grab the widget URL. And in OBS Studio, we just add in a browser source and paste things in. Now it should load in and everything should be looking nice and neat. If things are very close to the edge here and you wanna adjust the width and size, you can. Some of the goal widgets that we make are actually responsive in their width. So if we adjust this to something like 1920 for the width here, we'll see that it will adapt. And that's just a nice feature for a lot of our newer ones. If yours doesn't do that, it might have a set width to where it could get cut off if you set the width too low. So if that's the case, just make sure it has enough width here. And again, the same thing for the height. Let's just drop this height down just a little bit. Now we can do the same thing in Streamlabs OBS, just a little bit differently. What we need to do is just go into it, click the plus here, and then we just need to find the goal here. So let's add in a donation goal. Again, if this doesn't look like the right goal, just don't worry about it too much. We'll hit that, hit add source, and we can adjust the width and height here. We can see it looks pretty nice. Let's just bump it up here just to show you how that works. And we have this goal widget added in. Okay, great. So now what we want to do is actually test this out and kind of customize it a bit. So let's start first with testing to make sure that everything's working. So once we have things added in, we need to first test it to make sure it's working and then we can look at customizing it as well. It's actually pretty easy. Inside of the streamlabs.com website in their dashboard when you're logged in, you can go to donation history. So here we can actually add in a donation. So I'll add in one for nerd and I'll enter an amount of $55 and we should see it shoot up here to 65 and the same thing here in OBS Studio. If for some reason you wanna reset this donation, you can go ahead into the settings here and then just delete it. And once you delete it, you'll actually go into your browser source of OBS Studio, hit refresh cache to kind of just reset it. And then in Streamlabs OBS, all you really need to do is hide it and then show it again and it'll reset back to where you had it started. So just in case you have one in progress that you wanna test and make sure it's working, you won't kind of lose your progress there. All right, so now that we know things are working, let's go ahead and customize this a little bit. In OBS Studio, we can go ahead here and back in Streamlabs OBS, the website, we can go into the donation call and this is hidden just a little bit inside of the settings. And then down here, we have a custom fields tab as well. Now. Usually in goal widgets, we don't take advantage of these settings up here at all, with the exception of maybe the font we might take advantage of, but most of the settings are gonna be down here in this custom fields area. So I'm actually gonna blow this up and it's not gonna look the best. It'll be a little bit blurrier than normal, but I just wanna show you what's going on. We usually pack in as many options as we can. It's gonna be different for each goal widget, but we try to do things like colors, or let you show and hide different sections, or just kind of change up a little bit about each one. So you can see here we have the gradient. So let's set it to more of like, um, let's go with a blue here. 
And then in this section, we'll just add a deeper blue. And once we hit save, you'll see that the gradient kind of shifts in the color. And of course we have a bunch of different options. What I recommend you do is just go ahead and play around with all the options. Don't really worry about messing things up or having it look bad, because if you get into any trouble, you can just re-import the widget and it will restore all of your defaults. So we're gonna have videos later on that kind of cover each individual widget for all the packs but that's gonna take a little bit of time. But for now, just go ahead and mess around and find something that works for your stream. Again, if we go back into Streamlabs OBS and just resize this up, you should see it works pretty much the same way. The kind of cool thing about Streamlabs OBS though is if you go into the donation goal, you can go into this HTML and CSS tab and then down here for the custom fields and you'll have all these options built in right here. So it's pretty cool actually to see this integrated directly into the software. But again, that's just really updating what's in the website here. So I always personally do it here just in case I'm using something like OBS Studio or XSplit, something like that. So just to kind of drive things home here, I'm gonna show you this with another pack to show you that all the options can be kind of customized for each individual pack. So I have one here for the Nova pack and inside the Streamlabs folder, I'm gonna just double click the goal widget here and it's gonna begin the import process just like the other one. And I'm gonna override the goal widgets that we are working with. And then inside the all widgets and donation goal, we can see the custom options here in the settings. We'll go down the custom fields and you'll see there's actually a lot more settings for this specific one. I'm gonna just blow this up here and kind of blur it out just a little bit for you guys. But you can see we have a bunch of different colors, uh, font options, sliders for different scale sizes and effects. Uh, it just really depends on the pack you're using. If you're using streaming software like XSplit, then all you need to do is grab the widget URL here and add it in as a browser source or something like a website source is what it might be listed as. It'll work just fine. So again, make sure to play around with things and get something that you like. And if you get something cool, make sure to send it to us in our Discord or keep an eye on that as well because we're gonna be posting about all the individual packs that we'll be making videos for. We'll be covering pretty much everything that we possibly can so you guys can see everything that's included. If you have any questions, make sure to send us a message or follow us on social media, whether it's Twitter or in our Discord would be a great place as well. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. See you next time.